I'm going to do a quick video here on how to do a upgrade. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and log into our Herper Pro. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, do a backup. So you're going to want to come over here and you're going to want to hit this button that says create backup. It's going to go ahead now and create your backup. Depending on the number of records you have, this could take moments <laughs> or if you have uh, several hundred, uh, it could take a couple minutes. Um, it's backing up all the data and it's not using a script so it doesn't take little pieces out it actually does your whole database your whole database is going into one big file so you can't lose any data when we do a backup uh, it all goes into one file and it sits there until you do something with it it's a good idea to keep these backups um, for uh, for the future I always store a couple offline into the cloud system just in case I have a computer crash so I'm gonna hit exit and I'm completed the backup uh, so now what we have to do is we have to go over to the website. So here it is here. Make sure you are logged in. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to go to my account. And in my account, if you take a look down here, you've got program links. We're going to go ahead and hit the Herper Pro program link. And we're going to download that file. I downloaded it earlier, so we're going to go ahead and open it. It's in a zip format, so once you double-click the zip, your PC should open it. If you have something that pops up that says WinZip, buy it, or something like that, don't do that. That is just something that's taken over your computer and is trying to get you to buy their WinZip software. Zip files are natively handled by PC and Mac, uh, so you don't have to buy any other software to open zip files. And it's the safest way to transfer files over the internet. So once you see this setup.exe, you're going to first want to read all the README important information. Each release has one. It may have some information that you need. But then we're going to go ahead and double click on the setup.exe. So this is the actual file. You don't want to hit uh, any security warnings. Just hit OK to pass. It just doesn't know who we are. Um, so it's going to give you that warning. So we're going to select English. We're going to hit Next. Now, if you notice, too, on this page here, it tells you, if you haven't done a backup, to go do a backup and then come back and <laughs> come back here. You don't want to do an install when you don't have a backup ready to import back in. Okay, You could lose data that way. So then your license agreement, hit OK on, your default install directory, and if you want to create a desktop icon or not. So we're going to hit Next, and we're going to hit Install. Basically, that's all there is to it, to upgrading to the new version. So now I'll have the new version installed. We're going to have to go, we're going to have to start the program, and we're going to have to import the backup that we just made um, before downloading. So we're going to go ahead and launch. Now Herper Pro is launching, and here it is. So now it doesn't know who I am yet because it's a whole fresh install now. So we're going to go and hit Restore. It's going to ask us if we want to do a backup, but we're not going to. So we're going to go ahead and find our backup, which would be 026, that one there. So we're going to hit OK. So again, this could take anywhere from, you know, just a few moments if you don't have a lot in there uh, to several minutes. Um, it's uh, bringing the whole database now back into Herper Pro. Okay. Now, um, it's a good time, or I'm going to mention it again, it's a good idea to keep a backup in the cloud somewhere just in case your computer crashes. So basically once every few backups that I do, I just have a, a, um, a Google Drive account. Um, you can use a SkyDrive account, a Dropbox account, anything like that. It just makes a folder on your computer and you just drop it in there. Then it's out on the cloud in this other service and you can access it anytime. And there we go. Import is done. It will now know who I am uh, because it took that out of the backup that I had. Uh, it will check my settings and right now it's doing a verification to see if uh, I have a current licensed version. Uh, it also is bringing down any information that I don't have. Um, like uh, the articles from the Reptile Report, because I have the Ball Python module active, uh, it does take a little while longer. There's a lot more data that comes down. Any of the updates to the morphs, any of the uh, uh, articles that the Reptile Report is feeding that day, it also depends on how long it's been since I uh, since I started the software. I use Go Mobile quite often, which means I'm sometimes only going into the desktop once a week uh, to import all my information. Okay, and there we go. We are in, and we're going to hit continue, and here's all my data into the new version. So upgrade is done, all my information's in, and we're good to go.